All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast presented by Vizzy Heart Seltzer, the only heart seltzer with vitamin C and superfruit acerola. My name's Will DeFreeze, a.k.a. Horatio Sands. To my left, David Ruff. Man, I'm just kind of reading up on this Delta Plus variant. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for the Delta Bus variant. <laughs> uh huh. That's the one I'm I'm looking forward to. What are the side effects of that one? Just bussing. Really? <laughs> okay. It's just the most bussing variant. Really? Wow. You guys seen this, dude? I mean, what is this? Is this a, a strain of a coronavirus, or is this like a I don't know another streaming service? Saw that joke a few times yesterday. Hit the button. Hit the laugh track. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, like, sick. it's hard enough to watch the Olympics as is. Don't need another one. <laughs> I feel like it's not that hard to watch the Olympics. Oh, uh, yeah. If you, like watch, if you want to watch Slovenia, yeah, it is. You have to have the NBC Sports app. Maybe you should support our, our home not nation Peacock. and not just be watching Slovenia all the time. <clears throat> if there is a gold medal game be- between Slovenia and the United States, if you think I'm going to be flying red, white, and blue, you're wrong. I was told that's that if, sad, man. I was told that they already negotiated Why? that if those two teams are in the gold medal game, that they're just oh, no. going to split it. Oh no! Really? Uh, yeah. They're not even going to play it. No, they're going to just be like, you know what, dude? We both made it this far. Let's just both get gold. Just dap up. I guess that's how they roll in the uh, high jump culture. Mm-hmm. Yep. No winners there. Just splitting medals, gold medals. But it was a nice story, though. Hey, d- didn't weren't you worried about the the up dog variant? No, but I'm trying to catch the ligma variant. Why? It's hurt it's sick. I don't know. <clears throat> I have a major issue. Hey. What? What? Are you going to intro me? At Dylan Shivery. So this big coffee mug, what I do is I, I go get two Ventis, and I put them in here. <laughs> We're doing this in take, like 30 I get, minutes. I <laughs> add extra espresso shots. Uh, call them like, it's like a double black eye, basically. It's like 40 you. ounces. I hate you. We just burned through our entire rundown <laughs> in the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk briefly about the the high jumpers splitting the medal? Why are you okay with this, Dylan? I thought it was a cool moment. Two guys who who had been training a very long time to get there, and instead of, I mean, I understand wanting to jump off, of course, and being the, the solo owner of a gold medal, but I thought it was cool the way they just like, you know what, let's just both take it. Did you think, did you watch the video where they decided to, to split up the Yes, medal? I did. Did you think it was a little weird that they had so much say in what was going on? Um... I'm surprised that the Olympic Committee let them do that. Actually. I almost feel like the guy. I feel like it was such a nice moment b- between those two guys, and they were so happy that they both won the gold. That like, even if there was a rule, the guy was just like, "Yeah, it'd be kind of like awkward to enforce yeah, I it don't, now. I'm just gonna walk away." I actually it was a clout play because they actually, both got more recognition for doing that than they would have had they just won gold individually. I feel like the guy who answered that question just kind of answered it off the cuff and didn't really know if he, he could actually do that. The guy like making the medals like, "Oh, we don't have another, another and gold." Then they ran in totally different uh, directions, and it was like, "Yeah, no, if we run as far away apart from each other, they can't bring us back in order to give us or to say that we have to do a jump off." The Italian guy was much more elated. At the decision than the guy from Qatar. I don't or know if Cutter? he was. I think they both were. What's that supposed to mean? I think like they he, were. I think he knew that the jump off would. He probably wouldn't. Oh, Cutter was winning that jump off. Yeah. They I don't just, know. The Italian dude hadn't missed a jump in in the entire Olympics. Yeah. What are you trying to say about Italians in general? Oh, they, they, he's, he's taking a shot at his at his people. You can calm down over there, dog. No, I don't. I don't really like what you're insinuating. I'll jump are you saying that you? the, the uh, Italian people are emotional? I'm and saying dramatic I'm saying that maybe times? he was I'm saying maybe he was um not wanting to jump off and he was very happy that he got to just split the gold dude, as opposed sometimes to Sometimes I want you to jump off. Yeah, I'm always trying to jump wow, off. I'm dude. trying to pop off. Well, jump like off the pod. Board? Hey, weren't you sending limp picks over the uh the weekend? What picks? Limp picks? Lint picks? Never mind. Like of my like lint from the dryer? What do you mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I was doing that. What do you What's this guy talking about, David? I, I really I can't save him. God, I don't know. I'm just gonna have some more of my coffee. I think he said you're, limp. You're being a jerk. He said limp with a P. Did you? Mm-hmm. Limp picks. Limp pick. Like you mean limping? Because I walk with a limp. Because you broke your leg trying to dunk. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. It took a while to get there. It's double venti. You're hitting. <laughs> Shut up. You didn't get a double venti. I literally saw double you walk venti in with a, nut. More like a corinti or something. You didn't. What, how, what's that word in, in Italian? What's 40 in, in Italian, Dave? Man, look it up. You don't know shit. Man, you're... No, I'm tired. No, I don't know. Not to, I'm not going to feed your cute little bit over here making fun of the Italian. Paranta. 
40? 40. 40. It's a 40. There's not 40 of anything in that. Oh. The only thing 40 is the guy drinking it. I, I put my OE in here, too. Bang! He's, he's look, he's trying to get a dap from you. Oh, you guys can knuckle here. We can knuckle. No, 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 no. It's different. Bring it you. in. Reach across. You're kind of alone over there. Touch me. Yes. I hate I, you. I made contact. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, guys, stay safe. Right. The Delta Plus. <laughs> do we want to do some uh, <clears throat> announcements? Little announcements before we get into the thick? More like Delta Minus. We don't want that. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Will. I got a lot of jokes. They're not good. What's your deal? I don't know. Dylan's... I can't clear my throat. I can't do it. It's I really frustrating. I can't clear my throat when I'm with you. Uh, do you want me to mute you for a little bit? Throat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Here, I'll just I mute. Think I, I think Here. I finally caught the lick, mode. No, no, no. I'll just, I'll just mute you for a while. That's fine. Go follow Circling Back Pod and watch media on the ground. If you want the hottest Spider-Man content in the world... Look no further than Wash Media. <laughs> Leave a review and five star rating. Tell a friend about the podcast. Hey, that post offended me. If each, if each and every person told one friend about the podcast, I think technically speaking, we would double our listenership. Only if it was a one hundred percent conversion rate, which is not going to happen. Why don't you believe in the good in people? Yeah, you like always it, look for like you always are so cynical. Like just believe that people have will the backers do it. ever let you down. Like if one of my friends like, hey, listen no. to this podcast. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. You don't listen. Uh. The only pod you listen to is the Mind of Micah with Curry on it. I actually listened to that <laughs> yesterday. It's a pretty good pod. I haven't heard it yet. Actually. You know what? I thought you were all about listening. I, to I it. want to. I don't have, have you, time. Yeah, when was busy. the last time you listened to one of the pods we had recorded that you were on? I think very recently. only listens to Circling yeah. Back. Oh really? If it, if it, I know if I know that it's one of the episodes that's hitting. If we're just up here just spitting, then I then I'll run it back. But oh yeah, that was sick. It's kind of like a confidence builder. What are you trying to say? Monday's episode wasn't that because we're in a new studio and we're all feeling it out. I thought Monday's episode was fantastic, actually. Tuesday's uh, Bachelor Pod was very good. People were saying that you did you weren't doing great on it. No, I, I Will I and I were, just, were, were really carrying the team. No, here. stop. No, you weren't. I I had a couple good lines. You did, even though I didn't even watch the show. You made me laugh once. That was tight. I didn't watch the show and I still busted. If you want to know what we're talking about, we're talking about our Patreon.com slash Circling Back Podcast, or you can just go to www.itspodcastweek.com, and you can listen to all of our Patreon episodes. Yesterday, we did Bachelorette recap. One episode left of The Bachelorette, and then we got voicemails dropping tomorrow. And if you want to sign up on Patreon, or if you already signed up, you can edit your subscription, and you can go annual. You guys aware of this? Mm-hmm. Annual. I'm, I'm seeing people go, go Annie. On them. People are going Anno. They're hitting that Anno button. Anno doesn't work. I've Annie seen it. works. You can just say annual. It's ten percent off. <laughs> Go do it. Hey, you're not going to tell people how your laptop is like the home for podcast week since it's just <laughs> full. Pod- Dude, my laptop is the is the is the technical embodiment of podcast week. I tried to open Photoshop this morning to make a fucking graphic, just one graphic. <laughs> And it said that I had no room left on my laptop, so I decided to like had I had to do the thing where you Google like how do I delete stuff from my laptop? What no, hate the when most that depressing happens. Google ever. And I went, and it turns out that I was storing a hundred gigabytes of podcast podcasts on my laptop. Giga with a G. This is not back episodes of Circling Back. It's just that every I guess any podcast that I'm subscribed to has been downloaded onto this machine. What? Had to delete a hundred mega or gigabytes worth of podcasts today. Dude, you're a big podcast guy. Dude, I'm the podcast guy. Everyone knows that. <clears throat> it's always podcast week when I got the lappy open. What's your problem? I might have to go just like hawk one up in the bathroom. I'm After just you gross, just came man. in here, I'm you not going to say. You said you were feeling amazing. Yeah, you came in here and you were like, I feel peacocking. great. The people don't want to hear me like clear my throat over and over again. Though. You were talking about how your insides felt better. You literally said oh, that. Yeah. You, said, you said my insides feel so cleansed right now, and now you have phlegm that you can't get out of your throat. My insides are absolutely bussing right now. <laughs> That's disgusting. What are you doing? Oh, I feel great, man. Stop it. I feel fantastic. Just, just, a, just a little phlegmy. That's all. Jeez, man. Another goal for the Italians. Are they going to run away with this? No. Who's winning the gold medal race right now? Uh, China. U.S. It's China. It's It's U.S. The China's gold, leading in in gold, the gold medal race. Oh, like gold! Said. Overall medals is U.S. Gold is China. I don't care about anything but gold. That's no. all that matters to me. What if we lost to like 
Italy in the in the me- in the gold medals or Slovenia because because they split one with uh, Cutter during the high jump like that'd be devastating. I don't yeah. think we have anything to worry about. I think we have a significant lead over <laughs> the Italians. Are they yeah. even top fifteen? Yeah, the Italians Italy's are, ninth. The Italians Let's are go. weak. Top ten. I thought, why do you have to go to Italians like that? I thought you were one of them. It's because when you went there, like you thought they were gonna roll out the red carpet and they just made fun of your hat. Dude, they loved my They're hat. They're like, dude, sick fedora. Everyone, everyone there had the exact same hat on. That's why I got one. No, they didn't. I swear they did. I don't, I don't think, think they, they did. did. I promise you. I don't think so. Dude, the, the Panama no hat? No way, kidding? pal. It's just going to be weird. Like, when, like, 30 years down the line, you're going to be looking through, like, all the photos from your old vacations, just being like, wow, I was killing it back then. And you're going to have to see yourself in a fedora. Look at this photograph. Italy has six golds. I'm wearing a fedora. Six golds. It's more than you have. China has 32, U.S. has 25. Are you putting an asterisk next to that one Italian gold, the yeah. sixth? Because, I mean, look, if you have a chance to do a jump off, the people want a jump off. There's never a scenario where it's like, hey, do you want to jump off or no? Would you? I'm if, always going to choose jump off. But if you were the, the Italian guy and I was like, I can guarantee you a gold medal right now, or you can maybe beat this guy who's really fucking good. What would you do? Dog? Well, they're both really fucking good. They're I do, both like I'm previous world that, champions. I don't know if we should be letting the actual athletes make up the rules. I don't. Think oh, big Olympic will over here. <clears throat> IOC will or whatever. I don't support any countries. I only support the IOC. I just want everyone to have. You're a, a law Olympics. and order guy. Mm-hmm. Big law and order in the Olympics yeah, guy. I just want everyone to have a a well structured, fair Olympics, and that's all I care about. Can you remind me why Russia is? Performing under ROC. I was going to say, can someone explain to me like I'm five of the why this is scandal? happening? Why are they here if they're Because ban- Russia's banned. Is so, it? Okay. okay, but so they're not because the- they're all playing. Right. It's a, It seems like a, a rather large loophole that they've just walked right. their entire country through. Like, we all know that that's Russia. Right. The they don't Rock this- is still alive. <sighs> yeah. People don't talk about that enough, that they had a, um, a state-sponsored – doping cheating scandal that was like so elaborate it was like something out of like a it was like oceans 15 for olympic blood doping this, and like it was all for the olympics it was i mean like what's the big deal this 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 30 for 30 ends with them putting a, a graphic on the screen being like yeah but they, they all went to the olympics anyway like wh- why are it's they ridiculous here? do they know. like do they do you get like a uh, access to resources if you like the more gold you win like is it like ooh yeah we can build that pipeline I don't know. Some countries pay a lot more for golds than others do. I learned the other day. Just saying. Like, the dude that got bronze in the golf, he he got, like, triple the money that Shoffley got. Interesting. Yeah. Who was Why? it? Why? I don't know. Hmm. Because hmm. it's just based on country. Let's talk about Ritual real quick. The multivitamin company that you know and trust. You ever hear of these protein powders? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They can feel intimidating sometimes, like no pain, no gain, and their formulas are opaque, not just because they're a powder, but the truth is deep down, as in a cellular level deep down, we all need protein, and it's about more than just muscles. So Ritual's team of scientists, uh, hello, Harvard, ever heard of it? (laughs) Shouts to the Crimson. They reimagined protein from the ground up and the inside out, and that's how they... Made it to who it's for and why it's needed, and the result is a delicious plant-based protein, or as I call it, a B or a PBP. That's what you PBP. call it. Mm-hmm. You could just say plant-based. No, plant PBP. <laughs> it's offered in three premium formulations for distinct life stages, Dylan. Okay, come on, man. And unique nutrient <laughs> needs, all made with the same high standards approach and commitment to traceability that Ritual is known for. So whether you're doing reps or you're more into dog walks. Dylan, you like both, actually. I do. You like both of those. Y- yesterday, I hit the gym and I walked Stella. So, and as you can see, I, I didn't I, see you I'm there. very stacked right now. I did not is see it you there. Because you, is it's it because, because you were the, introduced to the essential protein that's the, here to shake things up? The PBP, I've been hitting it. You know a lot about <sighs> Ritual. Yeah. You've been taking their vitamins. When I got the protein powder in the mail, I didn't even know that that was a thing that they did. It was a surprise. My, the shaker that it came with is goaded. My son is also on the vitamins, by the way. Shouts to Parks. We're big, big vitamin, big ritual vitamin family. We celebrate their entire catalog, actually. Okay. That's, I love that about yeah. you. Very nice. That's huge. You deserve to know what you're putting in your body and why. And with their one-of-a-kind visible supply chain, you always know what's in their formulas, where the ingredients come from, why they're included. These just support daily health for tomorrow as much as today, made with nutrients to support bones, brains, and muscles, and help maintain muscle mass as you age. 
They're just clean PBPs, dog. I hear you, man. They hit different for different stages in the live. You can have 18 plus pregnancy and postpartum, Dude. 50 plus. They got 20 grams of pea protein plus a complete amino acid profile. You guys have not Dude, been eating full. enough peas lately. That's probably fair to say. I ate more peas when I was younger, I'll be honest. My mom made the best peas. It's probably pretty simple. So much butter. No, yeah, shout out Nancy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this is a protein powder with good taste. It's got delicious handcrafted vanilla flavor made from direct from farmer vanilla bean extract sustainably harvested in Madagascar. Like, are you kidding me? We're sustainably harvesting vanilla in Madagascar for this stuff? No one saw that coming. Game over. And in terms of standards, their peas are sustainably grown and regeneratively farmed right here in the United States Dude, of America. it's some bomb-ass pea. Dude. No added sugar, Dude, no alcohol. These are good. They and like just. all ritual products, essential protein is soy free, gluten free, and formulated with non GMO ingredients. So why not <laughs> shake up your ritual to make something new, less scary? Ritual <laughs> offers you a money back guarantee if you're not 100% in love. Plus, our listeners get 10% off during your first three months. Just go to ritual.com slash circling back and add an essential protein today. That's <laughs> ritual.com. Slash circling back. We are not going to gloss over the fact that David just, just dropped bomb ass pee during an ad. Read. <laughs> Dude, it's the best. Dude, piece. they have the best peas. Dude, they're, they're all they're all sustainably grown and regeneratively farmed right here in the United States. I mean, what I, about I, that, I get it. You understand? I do get it. Their peas are goaded. Okay, fair. Goat peas. Um, is that what goat milk's made out of? Can I can I can I interrupt regularly scheduled programming? Can I say what just happened in a group text I'm in? Sure. I'm guy who's in so many group texts, man. Oh. Like just so, I'm in too many. This dude's got friends. Got a couple. Uh, no, I'm in one, and um, it's a bunch of guys from college. Don't really see each other very often. And uh, one of them, his, like, last relationship, it ended, like, three or four years ago. And they were pretty serious, and he doesn't really talk about her or talk to her. A guy just, a guy just out of the blue goes, hey, blank, I just saw blank. She's got a kid now. And it's just completely, yeah, it's just like, okay, dude, like, <laughs> blindside him on a Wednesday. Yeah, hey, guess what? That. She really moved on with her life. She's doing pretty well. <laughs> <And he's, laughs> do she looks it's, really happy. What are the chances it's his kid? <laughs> it's certainly not. Wow. And uh, has he responded? Yeah, he goes, yeah, I hadn't really thought about her in a while. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm trying huh? not to. Thank you. Yeah, she do. She married a dentist, man. It's going really well. <laughs> They've got a really big house. <laughs> oh my god! Why would you do that? Okay. I'm sorry. That's all. That's Let's okay. talk about duct tape, man. Let's talk about the. Let, okay, we all we've all seen this video. We tweeted it out from Circling Back yesterday. If you haven't seen it, pause this podcast right now. Go to Circling Back Pod and go watch this video, and then go back to the podcast app when you're done watching the video and press play. <clears throat> On circling back. You don't have to mansplain pausing. That's how they you know how to do you it. You pause, you go to our thing, our Twitter they account. Know, they know what pausing is. And then you can unpause it and press play. Uh, we have an all time douche on our hands. Yeah, wow. this, first team old douche. Yeah, he's this is the chachiest douche I've ever seen. Maybe. So a passenger on his name's Maxwell Berry, twenty two of Norwalk, Ohio, classic Ohio behavior here. Oh my word. He punched a Frontier Airlines attendant and groped two other attendants on a flight from Philadelphia to Miami, authorities say. This guy, the video that you see, they ended up tape, duct taping him to his to a seat, the aisle seat. If you were ever in a position where someone is attempting to duct tape you, you're in trouble. Yes. Well, it could be uh, law enforcement. It could be plane enforcement. They even duct taped his mouth shut. <laughs> that, that might be too which, much. Which he escaped from. How this says he this says like the trouble began out of, like Houdini. He shimmied out. Yeah, he Houdinied out of the duct tape. This said the trouble began when Mr. Barry ordered his third alcoholic beverage on the flight and brushed his empty cup up against a t flight attendant's backside, according to a criminal oh, complaint, which she said that the flight attendant told him, D "Don't touch me." Good for that flight attendant standing up for. Can I say her or himself? Uh, <clears throat> we're okay. So we we this happens monthly. There's there's fights on planes. There was a a pretty wild brawl earlier in the week on one. Uh. Instead of duct tape, can we get them some zip ties or just some straight up handcuffs? Like, zip if we're gonna detain, can we like detain in like a, a more formal manner? Yeah, I don't know. 
Like uh, people obviously cannot fly. Like people don't know how to act. Yeah, there should we're be gonna some s- kind of measure in place for the for instances like this. If we're gonna serve booze on planes, which like I don't necessarily need, I'm not a big drinker on a plane mainly because I don't like getting up and having to pee this three dude times. Does not party. Well, when he got, I, up- I don't I don't like walking back there and seeing that the red lights on. I have to walk back to my seat. Then I get up. And then somebody in like between me and the bathroom gets up, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Well, okay, I'll just fuck the off." The red light is on, so you don't have to get up to, to know that someone's in there. Yeah, but like, but they don't let you stand outside and wait anymore. It's just a whole deal. So when he did get up to pee, Dave, because he was on his third drink on one flight, and when he emerged from the bathroom shirtless after spilling his drink, he prompted a flight attendant to tell him that he needed to be fully dressed. I think that's fair. So he popped top. Yeah, he took his shirt off, and the flight attendant helped him get his shirt out of his carry-on luggage, and he walked. But he walked around the cabin for 15 minutes, just hanging. That's out. too long to be walking around the cabin shirtless. Like, what are you doing? There are people who um, obviously just cannot handle alcohol and and will act out. Uh, this dude is on a level I've never before seen, on just acting like a total dickhead so, when drunk. Is, do we know if there was like a medication mix-up with it too? That's a good question. I don't know. This is this seems like Adderall. More, like no, this seems more than just like the guy's really <laughs> well, drunk. Well, maybe he no. had to have been drinking at the airport before, right? Like three drinks. Like yeah, everybody How, tolerates alcohol differently, but three is not putting you in get duct taped to the seat mode. If there is an amount of money that your parents need to be worth in order for you to drop that your parents are worth that much money when you're trying to flex on people, it's way more than two million dollars. It right? is, but that's but also that's never anything you should. Ever no, no, no. Anybody. I'm not saying anyone should ever say, like, my parents are worth this much. You my should never say that. What yeah. if but $2 million owns... is not enough to, to flex okay. on people. You're not thinking about this, though. What if your dad happens to own a dealership? It's true. True. Well, like, he's a former Texas quarterback or something? Yes. Damn, dude. You had to do it to him. Sorry. I did it. Like, saying that your grandpa... The reference was completely lost on me, and I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Just I'm just making fun of Texas quarterbacks not playing in the NFL and more just, like, going... Ah, you get it? You get it Yes, now? yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, Will. Good one. <laughs> Hook them. Uh, just kidding. Sorry. SEC. Uh, Did you take Adderall, like, two yeah. minutes ago? No, I, I had to... I had a, I had a black eye on, on my way in today. Have you noticed how he drinks out of that mug? He, like, lifts it up and, it's like... It's too big for you. you I, did, I just... I just you, dropped- like... I just dropped the fortieth ounce down the down the gullets. By the way, you 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 have not had forty ounces of coffee. Are today. you are you serious? Yeah. Are you kidding? Forty ounces to freedom. Do I look like I'm capping right now? You literally have no be, cap on you right now. You might be capping. This guy said that that his grandpa is worth more than the person across the aisle's life. Oh, I don't think that's this a nice kid thing is to say the to worst anyone. the worst kid of all time. Is this is this worst case scenario if you're the dad of this kid? Yes. Like, if, if, if one of our sons did this, wouldn't you just be absolutely devastated? Oh, it, this is humiliating you got to the pull them out family. of school, you send them to rehab, and then you hope the internet forgets. The internet never forgets. But if, if you act this way when you get drunk, don't you, don't, don't you know this by now? Like, don't you have, like, a... He's 22. He's 22, no. No. If he was 27, I'd say, yeah, maybe. He's 22. Yeah. But, he, dude, maybe he's just on a wave that we don't understand <clears throat> at this point. Like, maybe he's just – maybe he's, his shit just doesn't stink so much at college right now that he just thinks he can do anything. I kind of want to see the video of him getting removed from this seat after everybody clears out, like, and then, like, just ripping off the duct tape because, like, <laughs> oh, okay. that's got to be painful. Here's the question. Do they let everyone else deplane yes. before they get him off or do Absolutely. they send people in? Probably. So, like, if you're in the back, are you, like, like fake dapping them up as you're walking by? Yes. Being like, hey, dude, you're, you're walking by dog, saying, bye, bitch. Idiot. Imagine how many camera rolls out there just have, like, just shots of this guy in duct tape just oh. chilling right now. It looked like it looked like there was, like, an a impromptu, yeah. like, famous. It looked like, like Paris Hilton walked through a casino yes. or something. Yeah, because the, yeah. the f- amount of phones out with the, with the lights down. Yes. This guy was going to Miami, and he might have dipped into his stash a little too early. Yeah. Stash so of what? Also, the the flight attendant, the <laughs> mm-hmm. crew, was suspended because they they didn't follow protocol when duct taping him to the seat, which makes sense. Of What's course. protocol? I, I don't know what it is, but so it wasn't that. There is more information regarding their suspension. Are you aware of this? No. This is normal, apparently. If there is not not duct taping someone to a seat is normal. It's like being on administrative leave. Yeah, it's it's oh, normal that after a traumatic experience on a flight, they give that team of flight attendants uh, like a week off, seven to ten days. I read, paid, 
oh, okay. just to do an investigation as to what happened and whether or not that should have happened like that. But I don't think there are any indications currently saying that like these people are going to lose their jobs or anything. Yeah, so, yeah, you're right. There, um, Frontier. I know I'm right. Frontier released a statement and, and said said as much. Yeah. Shots. Did the uh, did the captain have to go back there? And get some licks in, because like no, sometimes you see that you'll see one of the pilots be like, "Hey, man." So law enforcement met them at the gate, and then it says flight attendants will be, as required in such circumstances, relieve the flying pending complete investigation of the events. So the dude was uh, he was arrested. Oh yeah, he got booked. Yeah, good. There's, Book line I, and I, I got the mugshot here too. That's this good. kid stinks, man. You can't like you can't be that like. Is there anyone cool named Maxwell? You can't flex $2 million. Yeah, Maxwell. Besides the, the, ma the man only known as Maxwell. I think I'm just going to start going by Will. Just Will. Like no no last name. What Correct. does that do for Sally and Fritz? Lil Mon? He can keep his name. <laughs> Lil Mon. <laughs> okay. What, dude? That's good. That's his name. Yeah. What's <sighs> Sally's name? Baymon? No, she's Sal Gal. Oh, okay. We got Sal Gal and Lilmon. And I'm Wilmot. This kid is unemployable. I was Moving just thinking, forward. It doesn't matter. His dad's got two million. Um, <laughs> Will, you need like one of those photos on the back of your car or like the stickers that like that has like the stick figure family, but mm -hmm. like they're all wearing Hawaiian lays and like, Hawaii, like sick Hawaiian shirts. Dude, I don't think I'd hate that. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't hate that. I hate. I, I honestly hate those stickers so much. And the little dog. They get the little dog there too. It's like, yeah, we got a dog. How beaten down do you have to be to have one of those stickers on your car? Oh, that would be a funny uh, bet payoff. <laughs> like, it, like you just, but it's like an, it's like eight, eight stick figures. People are like, oh, this dude, fucking. You have to have that rivers over here. You have to, what's the worst bumper sticker for a fantasy football payoff? What's the worst uh, bumper sticker you'd have to have on your car for until the next fantasy season starts? Q. A Q, Q sticker? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely yeah. Q. Yeah, it's definitely Q. <laughs> or Scientology. But Stop they're, the seal. They're kind of on the same wave a little bit. No, yeah, but Scientology, I feel like, like, I feel like people aren't, like, people know it's wrong, but they're not, like, aggressive against it, whereas, like, QAnon people are aggressively against it. I'm aggressively against Scientology. I am, too, but I feel like, I feel like other people are just kind of like, okay, whatever. If I see someone repping Scientology, I'm just like, that person has just lost their marbles. They're just clueless. Unless that's why I don't watch. That's why I don't watch uh, Handmaid's Tale. The, the lead, the lead in it. Uh, I'm forgetting her name. Is she a Scientologist? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's why I don't watch it. Um, yeah, but I carve out a fairly large exception for Top Gun, Top Gun Two specifically. Honestly, anything Tom Cruise, I'm in. He's... I don't watch that much Tom Cruise stuff. Well, he's not in that much anymore. I, know. I will go to every. Mi I, I'm a big Mission Impossible. I'm not guy. a Tom Everybody Cruise. Knows that about me. You told me your favorite Cruise movie is The Last Samurai. It's not. I'm it's not a Tom not. Cruise the person it, guy, but I'm no. a Tom Cruise. Did you say you went to the Midnight guy. Showing dressed as a samurai? I thought that was Matt Damon. Dude, you went to the Midnight Showing. Did y'all see the Matt Damon news? Yeah. What's he doing? Nope. You can't say what he said then backtrack. He said he's removed the uh, a, a cur uh, British cigarette. From yeah. his vocabulary. Yeah, he no as longer few, says the F word. As of a few months ago. Why would you, why would you publicize that? Well, because he's now he's, gone back on it and said that he never said it. Yeah, he's just playing. Haha, <laughs> he's just like, he nah. Said, he said that he used it in a joke in front of his daughter, and then his daughter wrote him like, a, a, like an essay as to why that word was, shouldn't be used anymore. And he said that changed him, and he just offered this up in an interview, and then people are like, What? What, what was, was he okay. just word vomiting in this interview? Like, was he? Yeah, like, I don't what's know. What's he doing? He's, uh, this sounds like Adderall. Weird. I'm gonna blame everything on Adderall. I'm not gonna lie. So one of the guys from Bro Bible, uh, Eric Italiano, he recently uh, interviewed Matt Damon, <clears throat> and I was kind of bummed that this that he wasn't the one that broke this news. That would have been big for the boys over at Bro Bible. Who broke it? I don't know. I don't know who this is. What's he even promoting right now? Does he have a movie coming out? Yeah, he's got the Stillwater, the meme, the one that the you've seen it. Yeah, it, well, he, and it's where, supposed to be a good movie. I thought he was just on a on an, uh, a show on Chip Gaines' new uh, new channel. Chip Gaines has a channel. Yeah, they got a whole they got a whole channel. You haven't heard about that? God, they're killing. Mm -hmm. Chip. Yeah, they have an entire show about Yeti coolers. <laughs> it's just. It's just it's it's Transformers only they just transform back into. Yeti it's just coolers. a game show about how much you can fit in your Yeti. They started calling me Chip Gaines at the gym, but with a Z. Yeah. 
I didn't see you in there yesterday, so. I told you I went yesterday morning. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. No, How do you like your, that? How do you problem? like the morning, the morning pump? I love it. I love it. But don't you kind of look forward to going in the afternoon? Yeah. It's also nice to get out of the way and have a, just a, a clear afternoon. I know, know, but what are you, what are you going to do realistically? Play Warzone? No. I did some like, dope I know. shit. Wow, you guys are still playing Warzone? Like, I know you don't do shit. I did some sick-ass shit yesterday. What did you do? I can't even tell Origami? you. Origami? I you had Randy you. over for an origami seminar? Yeah, I had Randy over to, to fold origami, David. Grow up. Origami dude. for Bay. No one had me becoming an ape shit cuts guy in their 2021 video. I can't card. believe you're, you're taking hey, pre workout. Nobody, please, nobody Photoshop uh, Randy as Mr. Miyagi and Dylan as Daniel's son. Don't do it. And Karate Kid. Nobody, nobody photoshopped that. Nah, did we get. That's not good content. Wait, did we get a straight up, like. Total of zero origami roses delivered to Randy during this meetup. What? I didn't want to call out the listeners, but yeah. Like, I appreciate everyone that came out and had fun at the meetup, but how are you not going to bring an origami rose for Randy? He was an hour late. Hey, buy a couple of dumbbells and just keep them next to your, your pelly and when you're, when you're on that ape yeah. shit cut. So no, you, might, you, might, you might pick them up. I got some. I've got two little two pounders. Oh, that's it. Oh, those perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Don't go any heavier. No. Well, it's just to keep the fat off my arms, but keep. Keep yeah. them as slim lean, as possible. Lean them up. Yeah, exactly. Well, didn't you tell me you got rid of your Peloton and you got the bike from Borat? <laughs> or no, the bike from Bruno? <laughs> Did yeah. you? I, yeah, I had to take the seat off the Peloton. Because of the way that felt? Yeah. What song is that from, Dylan? I read a story today that they almost had M. Night Shyamalan direct one of their videos back in the day. That would have been phenomenal. But then he realized that the budget was crazy small and he just backed out. I feel like it wouldn't have been that small. I feel like they had a pretty big music video budget. There's a time. Whatever. It wasn't a time. Do we have anything else on this Maxwell Barry kid? Just that he sucks. What's your reaction? What's your reaction if you are in a seat directly next to him? If you're across the aisle, if you're in a row in front of him, behind him, what do you do in this scenario? I am I prepared. I pull out my phone and I record it. But you don't tell. You don't. Do you try to mediate the situation at all? And no. Just be like, hey, dude, shut the fuck up. No. Shut yes. up. Yes. Gonna make it worse. Yes, I would. That that situation I wouldn't, I wouldn't can be able to, I wouldn't be able to be quiet. Honestly, I'm waiting for him to like put his hands on me or somebody near me, and he's getting fucking one hit quit. Oh yeah, he needed to get knocked out. Like that, that, that I, it's a miracle that no one just like smoked him. There was a, a hammer dude on my flight back from Michigan who was complaining about his mask, and it was like, dude, just stop. And then the he was we were leaving Detroit. And we were flying, obviously, like, probably people in Detroit weren't just people leaving Detroit. Like, maybe some people from Detroit were going to, like, sorry, I, I phrased that poorly. It's not like all these people were not from Detroit. There are people right. on this flight from Detroit flying elsewhere. Is he talking shit about Detroit? He just, go, he just goes to the lady next to him. He goes, God, can't wait to get out of this shithole, right? And oh the lady God. was just like, uh, yeah. Oh, Detroit, it's like, yeah, dude, Detroit she might be from everybody. your dog. Destroyed over everybody. What an idiot. Yeah, everybody was just like, dude, like, you, you could just feel everyone rolling their eyes at him loudly talking about how much Detroit sucked. And it's like, hey, dude, like, a lot of us are from Michigan. Like, what chill an out, dog. Did I tell you, we had, a, we had a lady on our flight that was crying and screaming the whole time. She's like five months old, but still. Dude, what a, what a jerk. <laughs> this lady was five uh, months old. Yeah. <laughs> it's a baby. Dude, uh -huh. how dare she? <laughs> No, babies are pretty good on planes. It's very rare that I have one that cries the entire time. So, someone brought their baby to Cabo. Dude, Let's go. Hell it's yeah. pretty chill. It's pretty chill. Like, hell hell yeah. yeah. That's tight. I was in Cabo a couple of weeks ago at DC Rough on Instagram if you want to check out pics from it. Let's talk about keeps real quick. Please. Hair loss is a thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times, like when your hair starts to go, like there's not a lot you can do about it. So, you got to keep the hair that you have. A lot of people don't realize that two out of three men will experience hair loss by the time they're 35, and more than 50 million men in the U.S. experience male pattern baldness. I'm not going to lie. I've always been pretty confident about my head of hair. Now that we're in the new studio, I saw an angle of myself recently, and I was like, all right. I used to be Keeps time, baby. I used to be very proud of my full head of hair, but it's, uh, it's definitely not as thick as it used to be. <sighs> hmm. Had I known about Keeps back in the day, I could have prevented that. I you still can, even though you're not under 35. You can still do it. Right. We're all aware of my age at this point, I think. I didn't point that out. I was just saying what the talking point said and comparing it to you. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm on it. I'm over 35. I'm not afraid to admit it. We're actually the same age, interestingly. Uh, you got nine 35. months on me. You got nine months on me. Three quarters of a year, actually. I'm closer than ever to 35. Wow, dude. You're getting closer every day. Are you 34? Yeah. 
Yeah. Not great. We're all mid-30s right now. What's the big deal? I, I have not gone hat off in the new stew to see what it looks like on camera. I'm going to have to Don't do that. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Mm. I'm I'm a keeps boy now. They offer a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. It's low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month, and Keeps offers generic versions as well. It's discreet pag- packaging and proven results. Keeps has more than more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. That's that's a uh, plus for me. Prevention is key. Treatment take, can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. You don't want to get behind the eight ball here, guys. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com, K-E-E-P-S.com, slash steam to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash steam to get your first month free. <laughs> K-E-E-P-S oh, dot man. com slash Steam. These next two stories, I'm I'm champing at the bit, Will. I, st- I can't stop champing. I'm stop chomping. Stop it, dude. I'm chomping. Stop doing that. I'm getting my, ooh, baby. Dan Campbell, head coach, Detroit Football Lions. This guy is the, the most alpha dude in, of all time. Can this dude calm down? He's overcompensating. No, he for, literally can't because his like, coffee order is so ridiculous. He's overcompensating. Seems like, uh, seems like you might be a little bit upset about his um, – Links to College Station, Dylan. You haven't let that go yet. I feel like you're upset that he's just absolutely coffee. Is he an Aggie? You. He I, is. I did not know that, honestly. Does it? Does that? What does that do for you? And like, how do you view him? It, it, it does nothing. I, it changes nothing. He's making all the players nobody. wear square-toed boots during practice to build their leg strength. Mm-hmm. I kind of respect it. You want to hear his he coffee order every morning? You know how? Um, I don't. I'm not trying to compare him to Aubrey Huff, but you know how Aubrey Huff, he spends like. <laughs> His whole online presence is just convincing everyone that he's so alpha. Yes. That's all he talks about is how alpha he is. <laughs> yeah. Huge cock. It makes you think. Like, why, why do you need to prove it so much? And I'm not saying Dan Campbell is that way, but he's flirting with, like, doing too much. Aubrey Huff tries to do it in a way that puts other people down, whereas Dan Campbell is trying to right. inspire alphaness they're out writing, of other dudes. They're writing different ways. Let yeah. me be clear. I, I, don't, I don't dislike Dan Campbell. But he's doing a lot. He's, he does do a lot. He yeah. is the guy who, when you go to like a, a an Asian restaurant or like he like he like orders the one with like the five chili peppers, like yeah. the spiciest, and then he's like, it's he's he's spicy enough, man. Yeah. Keep like, it coming. Like no, everything, more. like he's got sweat pouring down his face, but he's like, no, I don't even feel it. <laughs> man, this is this is good, man. I need to, like, can I get some yeah. more spice, man. I need some Tabasco. He wears shorts in January. He's like, it's not even that cold yeah. out here. No, my legs don't get cold. No, it's not that cold. No, it's like, fine, dude. dude. It's, it's 24 degrees. There's ice on the ground. Did you know he tried to get an actual lion to have at the facility? Yes. They turned him down, unfortunately. That's yeah, weird. That's good. What that's if weird. they? What if he had actually made that happen and like suddenly like someone I don't, gets mauled? Yeah, like oh yeah, Goff missed the first game because uh, he no longer has a a leg. <laughs> he might oh, miss yeah, more games. It's been with, eaten. Y'all are running with Goff now. Yeah. They're, yeah, because he's he's running with them. That's why. How's that? How do you think? How's it going in training camp? Dude, you know what it is. No, I don't. I'm asking you. Dude, a lot of people are saying he's going to put Hall of Fame numbers this year. Goff. Yeah, dude. In this one year. Dude, he's just, just got weapons at his disposal. It's great. People forget he had like a really, really good year like four years ago. Correct. Really good. He had li- quite literally a weapon at every position, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's out there just slinging it, though. Can we listen to Dan Campbell's coffee coffee order every morning? Yeah. Well, to normally what I do is I get, I'll get two venti. I go to you know, Starbucks. I get two venti of the pipe with two shots in them, so black eye in both. That's what I come in with. That's how I start the day, so. Did he say he with the pipe? The pipe. Pike. Pike? They're pike blend, dog. Imagine not knowing about the oh. pike blend. I thought, I thought he, said he pipe. was rolling in with the pipe. Like, nah. just ready. I, thought he, I thought he nicknamed his own coffee. I thought concoction. that too, but it's Pipe someone, is a good name for good. coffee. I got some, I had some pike blend recently, and yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's the, what he's talking that's about. That's the Starbucks brand. Or Starbucks, yeah. yeah flavor, that's that's flavor. their bread and butter. You know why it's called that? Because it was probably founded at uh, the Pike House in the basement. No, um, I believe um, okay, because well. it started in Seattle. <laughs> and uh, Pike's that, Peak. The Pike. The Pike. Um, what's it called? Pike Place Market. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Am I just making that up? I don't know. Why don't you ask Katie from the Bachelor? Pike. We don't have a direct line to her, do we? Yeah, Colton. Oh, I don't know. Colton could help us out. So you trying to get the Pike? Yeah, Pike Place Market is in Seattle, and that's where the original Starbucks is. As so, far as you guys didn't know that. He's actually drinking 40 I only ounces do craft. a day. You, you, you claim to drink 40 ounces a day, but you don't. I've already had 40. He today. does 40 ounces a day, and he does it with 
Black eyes. <laughs> Strikes. He, I'm AKA surprised Red he's eye. not doing a black rifle coffee. Is it weird that he like? I feel like he's. I feel like he's so into its alpha ness that he wouldn't go to Starbucks. Black Rifle is objectively the most alpha coffee. Is he having to go to Starbucks? You're right. Every day? There's a Death Wish coffee that we have here in the office. Dude. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Why, why is he going to Starbucks every day? Like, can't can't he just have? You like tell a, me. Why don't they just have a Michigan? Do y'all got trash coffee? I don't you guys think don't have so, craft. Dog. You guys don't have one in every strip mall like we do here. No, it's like random. Or like, or like food truck, coffee trucks. We have those now. I think if, if you, if I was in Harbor Springs right now and I had to go get a cup of Starbucks coffee for somebody, like if P Diddy, if it was making the band and P Diddy was like, I need Starbucks right now. I think I'd have to drive like an hour and a half to go get Starbucks. It's just not something we have. Y'all don't have a lot of fast food in your hometown. Mm -mm. I think that's intentional though. I no, I, it is. Starbucks. I know. I know. I'm just pointing it out. Starbucks does have good coffee. I know. You know. I'm just saying. Doesn't it seem like he but would like want He would want to get something else. It's big coffee, though. I think we should start a coffee brand. I, w I would love to start a coffee brand. There are a lot of smaller businesses out there that make their own coffee that have their own blends. The fact that we don't have one makes absolutely no sense. We, if you're a coffee company and you want to sell coffee to several thousand people, making a circling back blend, which, which by the way, is a great name for a coffee. I don't understand why this hasn't happened yet. Why can we do it? Can, can we, we just delete this? Can we just so fuck we around do and it? do it? Do you guys want to do the name? Brett's in the hot seat right now. Over Brett, there, just sitting on the couch. Let's get some coffee people on the horn. No, I can see Brett's fingers Clay, moving right dude, now. No, he just fired it. off an email Talk like to Clay. six different coffee places. Talk Let's to make Clay. coffee, dog. Clay, Clay's been trying to get us to private label a number of things, coffee included, for like three years. Oh well, I'm glad that you. Um, I absolutely up on have. That. I absolutely yeah. brought it up to y'all and Dylan. You're probably over there listening to Micah's Mind of Micah or whatever. I just don't like it's labeling my privates. Dude, let's get <laughs> let's get coffee going. Okay. You know I love coffee. Can I, say I actually something? do two Ventis with a shot, a couple shots in each. Uh, the pipe is what I call it. I'm going to say something controversial. You don't need two shots of espresso. You won't feel it. One shot's enough. Anything after two, you're just you're just flexing. You're just throwing money away. Damn. You're not going to notice any difference. Dave with some some truth. It's still going to cannons. Still going to blow that ass out. Isn't there a dude on Reddit that has something to say to Dan Campbell? Well, there's someone on Reddit who went mega viral. Mega vibe. What does mega co constitute? Like, Hold what on. kind of numbers does that do? Text J mom. Yeah. I don't nah, know. Nah, on Reddit's got to be like 40,000. Nah, I mean, it's Reddit's like the biggest online community, right? Probably one of them. And this was no, at I the, think our Discord. Our Discord, is. yeah. This was at the top of uh, Reddit for a very long time. It has 8.5K comments, 50,000 points, whatever that means. I guess upvotes, whatever. Anyway. Username Fajita Boy Swag. And he, he the title of his. Of his post is coffee culture sucks and he just goes in on coffee culture and it is probably 300 words long we don't need to read the whole thing but his first couple oh, lines this dude edited columns at grand x not that many, many words. words i've gotten good at eyeballing something and, and oh, i'm you know, really good yeah after grand x i'm amazing at Ooh, that. we yeah. should have an uh, uh an a eyeball off between y'all who can yeah. guess yeah That'd his be first two content. sentences he says i hate 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 coffee culture i can't stand people saying oh i can't do anything until i get a warm cup of coffee in me then he goes, shut. I guess I'm leaving more than two sentences. He says, shut up. And he drops some F-bombs. He goes on and on and on. And then uh, people are just like, man, this guy really hates coffee. But the reason he hates it is because we're enabling people to get addicted to caffeine, correct? No, he, hate, he hates. Guilty as charged. He hates the exact thing that we mock. Being like, oh, wait until I have my cup of coffee. He thinks, he, like, he's taking it seriously. Well, this guy sounds like this guy's having a tough time. We're, we have fun with it. This guy's like, oh, I hate it. Like, calm down, buddy. Maybe have a cup of coffee. <laughs> we are coffee culture. Maybe he needs to have a cup of coffee and calm down. I don't think it works like that. Well, to like, maybe he's so, uh, he's so uh, my disgruntled because he hasn't had his cup of coffee yet. You know, my, my father-in-law has coffee at all hours of the day and night. Like, he will have a cup of coffee at 11 p.m. What, would, what do you think Dan Campbell would do if he found out that, like, every day around 2 o'clock I have a half-calf? Wow. Would he uh -uh. just be disgusted with me? It's not, it's not the Michigan way. He would bite my kneecap off and spit it into his empty coffee container. And then, and then stick his lion on you. He doesn't have a lion. I just told you he got denied. He's trying to get one. I love coffee. I love it. Shut up, dude. I love Is Dan love Campbell coffee. the guy who's like, oh, dude, I'll eat ghost peppers? Yeah. Yeah. He dis and then two minutes after doing it, he disappears for like three hours, and you're like, where'd Dan go? He's like, oh, I was taking a nap. What? 
Yeah. No, dude, I'm fine. You gotta go <laughs> lift him. <laughs> Why does he sound like Peyton? shirt is sopping wet from sweat? Why does he sound like Peyton Manning also? He does sound like Peyton Manning. I never have noticed that until this morning. He's a little more alpha than Peyton, though. Mm. Yeah. People are saying Dan Campbell's going to end his career with more Super Bowls than Peyton. In Detroit. That's what people are saying? Yeah. People are saying Super Bowl. I mean, Peyton Detroit. only has, what, two? I don't know. Just saying. It's two. Just saying. His last one was with the, the Denver Broncos under Coach Gary Kubiak. You know, his brother also has two. A lot of people forget that. No. I feel like everyone knows that. There was a helmet catch by David Tyree that kind of solidified that game. Wow, look at this guy. Dylan's trying to catch some helmet. Joe, <laughs> Joe, Buck, Joe Buck really flexed his uh, announcing muscles for that play. Brett, you, we got a coffee. Live Moss. You got a, you coffee brand going yet? E- Eli, yet? Eli Manning escapes the pressure, throws downfield, caught. By David Tyree. That's a pretty decent Joe Buck. I was just like, what? That's the call? The most exciting play in Super Bowl history? That's the call? He probably didn't realize it was pinned up against his helmet. I know, but just, the, it just, it was, I feel like the, the moment commanded more than that. But I'm a Joe Buck guy now, so I can't, I can't talk too yeah. much shit about him. This guy goes on to say, and don't get me, don't even get me started on Starbucks. Goddamned devil business, slinging legal crack for decades. Hogging good real estate so addicts have addicts have a place to slurp up and get their morning shit. Don't in say before. slurp up. Slurp up. That's <laughs> what this guy said. That's not man. how we're doing it in coffee culture, dude. We don't slurp coffee, dude. We sip it. I slurp it sometime. I slurp your coffee. I slurp it. Slurp it right up. I'm and a coffee stupid, fan. And your stupid machines that creak and groan through the quietude of my morning can go fuck themselves. Is quietude a word? I don't know. Quietude. Has this guy had too much coffee. Hold on. Maybe. Quietude. I like this dude. This guy definitely yells at flight attendants. Damn. A state of stillness, calmness, and quiet in person or place. Oh, wow. Well, he sh- I am embarrassed. And lastly, the goddamn Keurig cups, Keurig cups, or whatever they're called, are one of humanity's worst inventions. He's you know what? Wrong. You know what? Agree. He's and the fact wrong. that Dylan insists on using Keurig at home. I haven't used Keurig since. I was in the Grand X office. You David. were the face of Keurig on Snapchat. You were. I was. That was a good bit, though. It was a great bit. I kind of how many it back. how many uh, turtles choked on your Keurig cups that you thought was cool to slam dunk? Hopefully yeah. zero, man. Yeah. How Honestly. many ducks got your Keurig cups stuck on their feet? Damn. Couldn't swim anymore. Don't put this on me. I bet you don't you even cut of... the cut your six packs. I do actually. No. I don't think you do. I I, don't, I tear them. I don't cut them. Okay. I do though. I promise. Does the homie? Have you taught him that yet? He doesn't dispose of six six pack plastics. I do, so I'll teach him when the time comes. Dave doesn't. Look at him. No, I've been eating a little too much, man. <laughs> six pack. Joe. Cabo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little too much fun at the Starbucks uh-huh, and Cabo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dave, didn't you have a another news story that you wanted to bring up? No, no, I didn't. Yeah, I, no, I did. Not. I think there was another news PSA. story. I'm seeing on here. It says something about a prostate on here. I. It's a Harvard study. And this is a oh, PSA for Harvard. all the, men, the, the people from Ritual. Yeah. For all our men out there. Let's hear it, A Harvard Dave. study finds that men who ejaculate 21 times a month were one-third less to develop, likely to develop prostate cancer than men who ejaculated four to seven times per month. What kind of numbers are you doing, Dave? Who are you gesturing towards? I'm not, look, I'm just saying, look, I'm probably not sniffing 21. I got to get my numbers up. I'm not. What? what? Oh, go ahead. So I'm just saying uh, to all the fellows out there, keep on cranking. Were you calling yourself 21 Savage after this news drop? Yeah, I was. <laughs> that was sick. So I'm just, I, that's all. The research, I'll give you some more. This is just a responsible PSA we're, we're, we're dishing out to the, the gents out there. If, like, you find out. Hold on. This is from the Daily Mail. This is real. Yeah. It's a why Harvard they have, study, David. I, it's I, why real. do they have I, to use images like this? The, see the banana one? What are they doing with that? Man. That's that's yeah. that's see it. That's a company that doesn't have the budget to do anything besides Shutterstock. It's literally a banana with cream on the end of it. Like what? Oh, what? That's a little. You don't need the cream. We the, get the innuendo without the. Yeah, but banana on. cream pies hit different. Maybe they that's are, just the beginning very, stage of that. They are very good. What did what did Bay make for me? Bananas Foster or something? No, she made you banana pudding. 
banana pudding. It was bomb, wasn't it? Yeah, but I was told it wasn't a traditional banana pudding. So now I'm like, wait, what? My first ever banana pudding was untraditional? Whoa, whoa. don't let Bay hear that, man. She put, I thought she said that. She put her heart and soul into that banana pudding. I thought pudding. she said that. It as, wasn't wasn't traditional. As someone who is who has this in his family, you know, uh, banana pudding. I, I am going to talk to no <laughs> prostate cancer. Probably banana pudding. That is too. funny. That is funny. Way to go, Will. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to I'm going to urge everyone like all my family members like hey, Uncle Uncle uh, Marty, it's not a fake it's not a real person. Hey, how's, are you cranking? How's the well, how's you're, the day? You're gonna go home. You tell, for, you're gonna go over Thanksgiving and ask Uncle Marty ask Uncle Marty what his numbers look like. That, you tell someone over, like, hey, you tell someone over 55 to crank 21 times a month. They're like, I can't do that. Yeah, they, like, I don't. You have don't that think they're capable of cranking 21 times? And who doesn't have to be cranking? Dude, I don't, it can that's happen a, in other ways. That's a lot of boners for an older gentleman. I'm just saying. Okay, you're right. we have a freaking sponsor for that. You're right. Fair point, David. Whole squad chewing blue. I just feel like that this should be getting more play. Well, that's why we're. I think it's getting play. That's why we're telling the people. Twenty-one times. Twenty-one. 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 Twenty-one times seems a little excessive. Mm. All right. So this is this is uh, starting next month. It's circling back crank month and. We just need all the backers can to we, keep track of their numbers. Can we please not promote Circling Back Crank Month? Oh, oh Brett, Brett notes. notes it's Small Biz September, so I guess we're parlaying that. And, Dylan, I'm going to delete this talking point you put on the rundown. We're not doing a come <laughs> What the fuck are you talking What is that? Come on, dude. I didn't put that on there. We're not doing that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Can't wait to delete this episode when, when Fritz is, Lilmon is old enough to, to understand words. I'm gonna earmark this one. What what age do you have to start worrying about them like repeating what you're saying or like taking it in? I don't know. Three, two. Oh really? Okay, I got time. Whenever they start talking, the words they learn are from you. You know. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking. When do they start talking though? Uh, two, one, one, one to two, somewhere in there. Damn. I think I don't remember. I'm taking a vow of silence right now. It's been a long time. Is Fritz? Uh, this is uh, the dad dad gum podcast. We're mm -hmm. switching to dad gum. Okay. Is Fritz gotten into um, like when he learns like a new he, a new thing his voice can do, like a new scream or pitch or just a sound, and he just doubles triples down on it, and it's just like all right for the next forty eight hours we're getting we're getting that noise. We're on day three, day three. <laughs> so my uh, Lily and Drew's son is currently in that stage. Like he's been in that stage, and they hung out for a little bit the other day. And I think Fritz heard some baby noises he had never heard before. <laughs> Next thing I know, he's just riffing. Like he has not stopped babbling all week. B uh, babble. He's a talk boy. Mm -hmm. I am worried that he's going to grow grow up with a British accent because of all the Love Island being played while he's in the other room. He's going to have, like a, qu he's gonna have a question for me and ask me to have a chat on the day bed. And I'm like, dude, we don't even have a day bed here. It's mental, Dad. Hey, puppy. It's mental. It's, it's mental. Mm. You guys have really bad British accents. Oh, smashing, just a, baby. Just a bit of a snogging. Okay. They don't know what snogging Fish is. Fish and chips, eh? Dave has no clue what Dave doesn't know what is. grifting is either. What grifting? I thought mm -hmm. it was grafting. Grafting. I know what Tokyo drifting is. Yes. Will you please just watch Gone in 60 Seconds one time? I still have the last, the latter four Fast and Furious. So you're going to power Can through. Can you admit that it's weird that you haven't seen Gone in 60 Seconds, though? I uh, No, because I haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's weird. So you might not, be completely justified. Like, Gone in 60 Seconds has one of the all-time casts. It's Nick Cage boosting cars. What, what more do you need? Gone in 60 Seconds sounds like, like my love life. <laughs> I okay. botched it. We got, we got Nick Cage, Angelina Jolie, Robert Duvall... Giovanni Ribisi. And, uh, Don't act like R all Randy's, these are household names. Randy's Delroy doppelganger. Lindo, Vinny Jones. Dude. Randy's Vinny doppelganger Jones. in the movie. Mine? Master P? No, Randy's doppelganger. Master P is Oh, it? Scott Kahn? Scott Kahn. Yeah, he's Tumblr, dude. Tumblr. Wait, did you say Robert Duvall? Mm-hmm. Okay. Dave, it's a good movie. Dude, Master P is in it, David. About it, about it. Just do it. Michael Pena's in it. <laughs> Dylan nods. Da -na -na -na. Make him say, oh. I Kiki. know Michael Pena. Kiki Camarena, dude. I, so, you remember those ads we used to get on, uh, on all the Grand X sites that were like, like, oh, like, the celebrities you didn't know were dead. And then it would have like a photo of a celebrity that was very much alive that you'd uh, click on and be like, hold on, he's not dead, or right? Or it's like <laughs> someone where it's like, yeah, the de death was very public. We know. 
I had on the other day that was just like, you'll never believe the Netflix shows that got canceled in quarantine. And the, the, the leading photo was Narcos Mexico. And I was like, oh, my God, it got it got canceled. That's like one of the best shows on Netflix. That is a right cash now. cow. There's no way. Yeah. Next thing I look, I look on the thing. It's nowhere to be found. What? That's so irresponsible. I know. Just irresponsible advertising. You'll never believe which Hollywood star has three dicks. Yeah, that's a popular one. Who does have? Did you click through? I never clicked it. You didn't click through? Because it was, seemed like it would give me a virus. Hey, let's pivot. <clears throat> Hold on. Just My favorite thing in the morning, <laughs> let's, get, let's get real here. Uh, before like you're up to like feed the baby... Is when the baby wakes up and is just like Dude, not crying. He got canceled. He got canceled this week. You shouldn't be feeding him. No, not da baby. <laughs> Talking about little baby. Oh, okay. ACL dropped him, by the way. Who are they picking up in place of da baby? I heard Snoop. I'm just kidding. I didn't. No, I Snoop. Heard, Snoop I is heard. actually putting on a mu- uh, music festival, I think, in New York that has an all-time lineup for hip hop fans. Unbelievable lineup. Is Matty B on it? No. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I didn't read too far down. What about the John day. B. No, he doesn't go to he doesn't go to New York very much anymore. It's kind of a source. Uh, seriously, it, hey, I need to put out. <laughs> Not a P- welcome to New York anymore. I need to put a PSA out there to everybody. <laughs> hey, if, if I'm walking down the street and you see me, like, please, like, I'm not John B. Like, just stop. Really? Hey, get, you get that a lot. I know I look exactly like him, but like, I'm just not him. I was trying to say that that the point before the baby like wake up, wake up, and it's just talking to itself. And they're making noise. Like, that's like a fun part because you're kind of awake and you're like, all right, I'm not going to go back to sleep, but like, I don't, we don't have to feed him yet. That's a fun, that's a fun moment. And that's, that's the Dad Gum Podcast. Thank you, Kyle and Pete. The best moment of my day is, is getting him out of his, uh, his swaddle and just having that stretch. It's the best part of my day. Love a good stretch. You guys want to hear the lineup for this music festival? It's actually in LA. I was wrong. LA? You have to go down the far off five in order to get to it. <clears throat> Al Green, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, The Game, YG, Ice Cube, Isley Brothers, Bone Thugs, Cypress Hill, 3-6 Mafia, E-40, Too Short, DJ Quick, Warren G. Like, listen to this. Too Short and Bone Thugs at the same place? Count me, Dude, it, when, when 50 and The Game start doing uh, Hate It or Love It, like, I'm going to be front row. That's sick. That's I'm going to get in the lineup. pit and try to love someone. Well, you're not going to be front row. You're probably not even going to this. you got to think I'm going to this. You're just not. Dude, I'm going. Give me, give me somebody on the bottom line. Go to the people we might not know. Trish Toledo, the Lakesiders, Coyote, Ooh. D3. What about D12? I don't see any D12 on here. Okay. What about? Uh, noted rapper Snow the Product will be there. Oh, let's go. Snow the product. Do you think you think he dabbles in anything uh, illegal? I don't think so. That's Snow Dylan's, the product. Dylan's, I think he just uh, loves to go. Name. He just loves to go skiing. I think. Yeah, you think he's a, he just spends a lot of time in Aspen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, what? I don't recognize any names. Mac Ten Dub C. I have been listening to a little Dom Kennedy lately. Oh, exhibit. X to the Z. Yeah, but he's not performing. Don't he's, say it. He's don't just, say it. He's just pimping people's no. rides. <laughs> don't tweet that at him because it will pwn you on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, yeah, that's right. He had a, a viral one. So if I show up with my car, he won't, like, do something to it? What did he say? He just, like, some, some girl's like, hey, Exhibit, will you pimp my something? And he's like, I think he said, like, no, bitch. That was 10 years ago. He just dunked Move on, on. for no reason. Like, okay, dude. You made, probably made good money on that show. That show was sick. I mean, no one needs a, a, a saltwater fish tank in their trunk, but it was a sick show. No, I, I didn't need a, a, a Schlitterbahn water park dude, in my trunk, but I, I got one. A, I didn't need a cotton candy machine in the back seat, dude, but thank you. Ale Hodger just tweeted, can you pimp my ride? Cry emoji. He said, no, bitch. Shit's been over for a decade. Get a job. <laughs> you don't have to treat her like That's that. That's terrible. Like, dude, she's just trying to be nice. What was, his, what was her tweet? What did she want? She just wanted. She just she said, wanted can her, you pimp my ride? I'd ride to be pimped. I feel like that's not that big of a like a request. It's been over a decade. Get a job. Alejandra doesn't need that kind of smoke in her life. Nah. Like, hey, Exhibit, um, will you put an Olympic balance beam inside of my car? <laughs> yeah, and just destroy its value? <laughs> it's worth nothing now. <laughs> because no one else wants this. It literally hurts the economy. <laughs> Can we do this weekend in fun? We made your entire car out of Yeti. Yeti needs to make a car. They will. They'll make a truck or something. Hey, we actually have a special guest in the studio today. You guys might know him from Knives Out. Uh, he's one of my, he's, I think he's my all-time favorite Bond, but uh, welcome Daniel Craig to the program. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. 
Thank you, wow. Daniel. That was a great appearance. I didn't great realize interview. he was here. He's a good interview. Yeah. Also, it's just Wednesday, but I feel like he has only one thing to say. This weekend in fun <laughs> presented by Bird Dogs. It's peak summer, which means one thing and one thing only. Bird dog shorts are back. God. They're we my just, everything shorts. We just got a fresh shipment of these into the stew, and I have to say. Yeah, we did. They're going we? wild. We did. Don't look at me. Don't look. I didn't take your shorts. Yeah. Someone took Dave's shorts? Yeah. Dave's worried someone took his shorts. Why would no, I'm not that? worried. I was I was told someone narked one of y'all out. Are you mad that you don't have your shorts right now because bird dogs are the best and most comfortable pair of shorts that have ever existed and they have a super soft built-in underwear and they're perfect for yeah. doing literally anything like the beach, golf, brunch, pool? You nailed it. That is why I'm mad. I know. I get it. They're the short shorts of the summer, Dave. So I guess I'll just... That's fine. I got the, I got the old bird dogs. That's cool. I'm not going to be on that new ish yet. You haven't got that new new? I don't have that new yet, but... Do you know they kidnapped uh, Lululemon's designer? Yeah. They were like, no, nah, you're coming with us, player. They duct taped him to his seat on a plane. <laughs> oh, then, I hope that's not how it went down. And then That's they removed him, down. and then they brought him to the Bird Dogs headquarters, and, and all they said was, Where am I? I? They pulled the, 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 the black site hood off his head. He's like, where am I? I think they just paid him to like go work for them. Well, what, what was, what was uh, the Bird Dog office reaction when they took the hood off of his head? They were just like, <laughs> no, they, they put a pair of shorts on his head, the built-in underwear. <laughs> yeah, the, the liner. The liner they was knew just... he could breathe because it was breathable as hell. Yeah, yeah that's a great point. So he was totally comfortable the whole time. You're our new designer, dog. Dude, guess what? And we pimped you right. We got your Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah, we put a full gym in your trunk. <laughs> Bird Dogs is back with one of their famous giveaways. Remember nunchucks? Well, now, Bird Do- go to birddogs.com, enter promo code STEAM, and they'll throw in a Bird Dogs whistle tip football. Where's that football, man? Dude, it's got the whistle tip on I want to throw it a big game from over here. Remember those Nerf, Nerf Vortex Howler footballs that whistle when you throw them? Yep. The must-have beach Hang toy on. of the summer? I'm going to throw it. Will, ready? Yeah. Wow. Oh, Dave's got some air it's time that there, far, dog. Our office is pretty chill. big now. I didn't know you had that kind of heat. Our office is huge. That's yeah. BirdDogs.com, promo code STEAM, and boom, a free Bird Dogs whistle tip football with your pair of Bird Dogs. You will not take these things off. I promise you. No, they're great. They're great. Yeah. Uh, I've worn them hiking to a swimming hole. I wear them at the gym all the time. Sometimes I just wear them here and just, just straight. Don't call it a swimming chill. hole. There's a swimming Sweet hole by my with house. your buddy's pool. It, it, it's a creek with like a swimming I mean, that's what it is, jerk. Dude, Dylan, you need to tell me about your weekend before I start just volume shooting <coughs> dirty jokes at you. Are you finished with the ad read? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for asking, Will. Mm-hmm. Um, my Fridays, uh, well, I, I have parks. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Maybe something with uh, with Brittany. I don't know. Just chill. Who, the, who is Maybe Brittany? Go to, with Bay. Oh. Oh, here's, here's a true story. Bay went to a, uh, a work dinner last night, and they... Rainy Street was brought up for some reason, and she's like, oh, yeah, I was on it last week. And the guy goes, wait, is Dorn your boyfriend? Were you there for the watch media? <laughs> and she goes, oh, yeah. And he goes, so you're Bay? Like, the dude listens to the, to the Who's program. Who's the dude? dude? Yes. I don't know his name. Some, he's in real estate in Austin. Shouts to him. What? Probably doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Have you seen these prices lately? Crazy. Saturday, um, I will be celebrating... Bay's birthday. Her is birthday, Saturday her actual birthday? No, her birthday is a week from today, on the 10th. Yeah, August I saw you think 10th. about it. Wait, today's the 4th? Correct. Birthday's the 10th. Whatever, the, whatever day that is. Tuesday, I guess. Dude, that's crazy. Randy's birthday is actually April 5th. That's wild. Her birthday's the 10th. But Saturday, uh, we're going to have, have dinner at her friend's house, and then we're going to go uh, two-stepping. Does she listen to this pod? You know, she's Dude, an it's Aggie. It's actually kind of crazy that her birthday is double Randy's birthday. Hers is 810 and Randy's is 45. Wow, that's an easy way to remember it. <laughs> wow. Dylan, does she listen to the pod? She does. All right. I, won't. I was thinking for her birthday you could pimp her ride. I thought about that already. We put a title company in your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we can put a printer in there. She can just print her own documents. Dude, just a, just a laser printer. That'd be sick. What kind of printer did you get? A desk jet or like a laser? I don't know. Light. I don't know. Why didn't you get Start. a 3D printer? Aren't they like wildly expensive? What, what, what would Dude, I my buddy got a 3D printer in exchange for like a deal he did. Like they were like, yeah, we're going to give you this 3D printer too. And he didn't know what to do with it. And for some reason, he didn't think like, oh, that would be a good washed media thing. Can you imagine all the things we could 3D print? 
The thing about 3D uh, printers the is that they is, print in three dimensions. I don't. I can't imagine all the things because I don't really understand how it works. I don't Why? either. What if we? What if we got like a template for like, I don't know, like a, like a golf club, and we could just 3D print like new clubs? Okay. Here's here's my question though. What where do the materials come from? Like a golf club is made out of what? Like there's rubber grip and there's a metal head yeah, and like well, you a don't, graphite you, shaft. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be like all the materials that you need. They, it doesn't it doesn't just magically like. But what do that. what materials does it use? That's my question. Yeah, I was Dude, under the it impression uses 3D. I thought that the 3D printer had like every compound known to man no. inside of it, so you could just press like a button like, oh, I need a new uh, guitar case. Boop. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when you now press the button. Now I need the, the guitar to go in it. No, you can you can print with metal, composite base, and continuous fiber elements. Filaments. I'm sorry. I used is this off the dome? No, I I googled this. Many different materials can be used for 3D printing, such as ABS plastic, PLA, polyamide. You probably your dumbass probably knows it as nylon. Idiot. <laughs> nylon, Glass nylon, filled polyamide. nylon. <laughs> yeah. What do you what are your three favorite materials to 3D print with? Nylon, 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 <laughs> nylon, nylon. That's it. That was five. My top five. Steel wax, photopolymers, you know, you know, just your normal stuff. Polycarbonate. Which one's the hardest? I, Dude, these I epoxy still, resins hit different. I still like you just like load it into the printer like you would like a regular like ink printer. Like what what is the material I still don't understand. You know what I mean? Like where does, no, it, I don't, where does it come I, from? I do understand. I think I think you have it. Like I think you buy cartridges like you would a normal printer. Really? Yeah. You, you what? need material. It doesn't just like make materials. Okay, we know how expensive like, Why not? ink like toner is, right? How much are, how much are these cartridges? Do toners happen? <laughs> That's true, they do. Uh, they can happen at any moment. Are you going to print stuff this weekend? I've got some PDFs I need printed off. Oh, I'll, I'll, dude, please let me. Perfect. Yeah. If you 3D print 21 times a month it significantly reduces the risk yeah of certain diseases yeah we're all in here trying to go paperless and you're literally buying printers like they're going out of style sometimes you've got to print stuff didn't they 3d print your new leg after you broke it dunking yeah trying to dunk God, still i I'm, I'm probably never gonna understand it how they, you what how you barely got rim 3d printers man oh how your how your leg broke under okay. like not that much pressure? You, it was a lot of pressure. I, I thought we were about to have it. Dude, why are you supporting him here? I thought I know. That, I, I thought know. we were a team over here. I was. was but my, I was. I was setting it up for a backhanded compliment. Dave was the first one on the scene, man. I appreciate no, Micah that. was clearly the first yeah. one on the scene. Yeah. No, but Dave, yeah, was the first his one, shadow covered. Dave was the first one on the, the on the scene, not doing content. <laughs> I'm, the only, I'm the only one who had the balls to touch it. Yeah. I was so far away that I didn't know what happened. You were over there just draining half court shots. Yeah, I was. I was trying to hit threes from the corner on the other side of the court, and I looked over, and Dylan's leg is the bone is sticking out of his leg. Dave was legit. Concerned. Yeah, dude, because well, understandably, uh, well, but you had jeans on, so we couldn't see, and I was so like, oh no, I was about to put my hand on a compound fracture. <sighs> Do you think that because you were wearing jeans that were weighted down by the apples down at the bottom of them, that like it, maybe that's why that you had more pressure going down? What he's saying <laughs> is maybe you shouldn't try to dunk <laughs> with boots with the fur. Yeah. Oh my Actually, God. had you had some boots with the fur on, you might have actually it might have stabilized your leg. If I had boots with the fur, I probably wouldn't have, have elevated as much as I did. I probably would have missed. Did your altogether. walking boot have fur on it? I didn't have a walking <laughs> boot, but I've been sick. We're gonna pimp your walking boot, <laughs> Dave. What are you doing this weekend? I don't know. Sick. I'm <laughs> maybe eating some fajitas. Let's go. If From somebody, where? If somebody wants to pony up and get them, get the good ones. Dylan's going to get the most broke-ass fajitas. <laughs> yeah, I am. Dylan's going to start a GoFundMe for Bay's fajitas. I can't, uh, wait no. for, I can't wait for this this Venmo request from Dylan for Bay's birthday party. I'm not going to Venmo anybody. Yeah, Will it be are. more or less than Klein's birthday dinner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I, I'm actually I'm planning on being low-key. I got some word. I got word yesterday. I heard that's that, a good show. One of my new followers, Will, is in town this weekend. Trevor. Oh, T Man. The T Man. No, the T Man. It's cool that he just followed you on Twitter. Yeah, I was very stoked. Um, I guess he's in town. Uh, if he gets out of the domain, then then maybe we'll see him. Nobody goes to the domain. It's kind of lit up there, but no one goes. You're right. It's too far. Dude is dead. Maybe Saturday I'll see y'all. I'm actually bringing T-Man to a base birthday party. 
That's great. Mm -hmm. We put T-Man in your car. That's how I'm pimping your ride. I'm putting T-Man in it. They're just going to pull up and T-Man's going to be like, what's up, dude? <laughs> let's, go, let's go do something. You want to go get some food? He's in the back seat. He's like, yeah, we're having fun back here. <laughs> <laughs> Come that's, on, that's man. a joke for two. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke for two. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, <Don't. sighs> That's all you're doing? I got big plans this weekend. You know how I air fried a steak last weekend? Dude, I think, I think I'm going to take the next step. I think I'm going to air fry a brisket. Of all the things you've done that have gotten like people mad, how did the air fried steak not? Dude, I think I'm gonna air fry a brisket. Is that the, you, you air fry is not that big. Dude, I think I'm gonna air fry a brisket. You're not gonna. I'm gonna 3D print a brisket and then bring it over to your and place air fry and then air fry it. Dude, I like that. The fact that no, no one got mad at me for air frying a brisket it means one of two things. It means that one, people do it and they're they're ashamed to say that they do it publicly, or uh, everyone's just so done with me that they don't care. I think it's the latter. That makes more sense to me, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I got I got big things popping this weekend. I have so much TV to catch on that I'm taking Friday night off, especially after last weekend's antics. And then uh, Saturday, I'm saving it all in the tank. I'm going to be two-stepping like a motherfucker. Did I not watch White Lotus yet? I watched four. it, dog. Yeah, thanks oh, yeah. for ruining the end for me. The, the, real, the big payoff. Dude. He ate his butt. Dude, I have so much TV to catch up on. I, I would very much like to try to finish Outer Banks this weekend so that uh, I can squad up with Randy and Brett and do a little recap pod on uh, on Patreon. Of what? Outer Banks. OBX, dude. No, and for those wondering, no, I am not John B. BX in the building. No one thinks you're John B. Everyone thinks I'm John B, dude. It's crazy. We got some breaking news from Brett or what? What's the deal? Dude, Brett, break this news, dog. God, Magic Bull has just been hitting it different. Brett's got a big weekend ahead of him. He's been hitting it different. D uh, Brett, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you going to be in a major city with a lot of backers in it this weekend? Oh, yeah. Well, sort of. I'm, I'll be there Friday and Saturday morning before I fly out. Nobody's flying out of Nashville late Saturday morning. That's when it usually starts getting going. But No, but that might be the perfect time for you to get out. I didn't want to put another night on the company card, to be honest with you. So I, I mean, I think that I think that had you been there for Saturday night, like we we're saving you some trouble. You would have found a little bit too much trouble in Nashville on Saturday. Well, you would have been like, why did you pay for a Saturday night hotel room? And I've been like, I don't know. We, I don't think I would have even known. Would you? <laughs> are you gonna bring back so, hot chicken for the boys? Uh, I've never actually had like tumble twenty two or anything. I've never had hot chicken unless it's in like a spicy chicken sandwich from Dan Campbell has. Yeah, that's, but dude, they didn't have a spice. Like, no, I need hotter. <laughs> I need hotter chicken. This chicken is just not hot enough. What? Uh, what? The spicy chicken is? It, is it not just buffalo chicken? It essentially, it's, dude. Just, it's it, hot chicken. It just tastes like yeah. buffalo chicken. Yeah. Oh well, then I'm. It does I'll not have taste some. like buffalo chicken. Whatever. I'll be it's there. Chicken that's hot. I leave Austin uh, Thursday morning tomorrow at seven fifteen. My flight leaves. So. Okay. Get there early, man. Get there early. I won't be able to check in for like six hours after I land. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Just go to the hotel, drop your bags off, and then go get some hot chicken at Hattie B's or something. I should be a bunch of Nashville hardos like, that's not the place to get it. I'm sorry, I don't really know. I don't live there. <laughs> I wouldn't do the oh. hot I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do hot chicken as your first meal. No? Because if it, if it doesn't, no offense, but, like, you don't eat a ton of spicy food. No, I mean, no, not really. So, I mean, like, you don't want to completely don't tank, you tank you your gut by on day one. Tell the kids what you're doing there, man. We got podcast movement, dog. Let's go. Where are we moving to? Are we moving to Nashville? <laughs> That'll be the uh, the next Wash Media office. Will be Nashville. I'd be fine with that. We have a country club. Austin club, Light Country is... Club. I did, country What's real uh, music in there now. It's like the second best music capital of the world. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people say. I mean, there there's Thursday, ten times uh, a lot of music in Nashville that there is here. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I was thinking about maybe doing a little backer impromptu Friday afternoon happy hour. I don't hate it. I don't hate the move. Not like a ton of people there. Just maybe grab some drinks with a couple of us. Just make an event right. Dude, move yeah. your flight. Go play Sweetens on Saturday. I don't have a car. Okay. Buy you, wanna, one. I, you did say, Dave did say I have an Uber budget. Or maybe that was Dylan. I don't care. I mean, yeah, we don't <laughs> want to. develop you. enough business that this trip doesn't matter. Do not. Uh, you have to. We, we need assurances <laughs> that you will not get on a lime scooter. Yeah, no limes. I will not li drink in lime. Good. Don't lime it. I, don't even lime sober. Why? Because I, I know four people who are like in a walking boot right now because of it. You right now. Lime. You can lime. I know one person who might <laughs> have been in a walking boot recently. Landry, right? Uh, was that a lime thing? Tours ACL. On, yeah. Oh. He might have been drinking. I know numerous people <laughs> the in my life over the last anything. two months who have absolutely like ruined themselves on a lime Why? Scooter. Why do you we, guys think I'm in a lime all My hotel's at the airport. I have to Uber to, to anywhere. I don't know, Brett, because you're young. 
the uh, podcast the movements dumb the, and gonna have fun. The grand old Opry, Opry, Opry. Wow, dude, you better get that right. I, I Dylan, I don't know. Well, I, don't, the Opry. Like, I think we have to cancel Brett's trip to Nashville. He's, okay. he's gonna, he's gonna grand, the the old, hey, bro. Gonna boo him. Hey, dude. Lana's a Luke Casey deal while you're there. That's their their HQs there. I don't, I don't know if our, their dem or their demo overlaps. With What's ours. Mr. Casey's budget like? Bro, if you see Stapleton, tell him what's up, man. Freaking Stapleton. <laughs> you heard did, shit, uh, dude. He's, he's legit dude, he's country. The only, he's the only good guy left. He's legit country. I did put out a tweet that was like, I don't know how to say this without sounding like an asshole. Like, what are some good Nashville <laughs> recommendations? I called it the live, laugh, love of recommendation tweets. It's very it's true. Like, yeah, it's, it's Nashville, dude. Like, just fucking walk into any bar on Broadway. You'll be fine. So, But I wanted some out-of-the-box ones. Does not, doesn't Kid Rock have one, a thing there, Will? The Honky Tonk. I'm no longer the foremost authority on Kid Rock. Oh, he's distancing. Probably the move. Yeah, that's not bad. That's breaking news now? Yeah. How about Container Bar, local Austin staple? A Man in the Woods or Big Cats? Man in the Woods? Is it is it spooky season here early or what? No, it's kind of a sad story. Oh. Okay. Oh, great. I'm sure, we'll go with that one. Fine. For almost three decades, 81-year-old David Lidstone has lived in the woods of New Hampshire along the Merrimack River in a small cabin adorned with solar panels. He's grown his own food, cut his own firewood, and tended to his cats and chickens. Okay, did a bear eat this guy? River Dave, as he's known by boaters and kayakers, is now behind bars. Oh, no. After being accused of squatting for 27 years on private property. They showed up to his house with guns and said, Sir, you're coming with us. It's not your land. They what could, the they fuck? They couldn't just remove him? Like, don't you have like rights to the land at that point? Adverse possession. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. So there's now a local... He wasn't uh, open and notorious. The problem was the, 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 the current landowner, the old landowner died. And apparently they had a verbal agreement that he could stay there and chill. Oh. The new landowner is like, no, dude, get off my land. I have a wood shop going on here. I don't. I don't need your unseptic tank, like, waste on my land. If I owned land and someone had been living there for twenty-seven years, I don't think I would have the heart to just be like. He's eighty-one. Kick rocks and kick, kick me some of those fresh peas you're growing or whatever. The Can bomb ass. The bomb ass pea. He doesn't have any cash. He's just why don't you like lease it for a couple tomatoes, right? So there's there's now a local group that's trying to tomatoes. trying What's to that? save Mr. Lidstone. Is there a GoFundMe? I'll donate. His name's River Dave. Don't call him don't call him Mr. Lipscomb. I'll donate five dollars. To River Dave? It's big of you. I'm gonna look into this a little bit more to make sure there's not like an aspect of the story that <laughs> it's not as yeah they're like the, like did he we need to make sure River Dave doesn't have too many skeletons in his yeah, closet. Yeah yeah I just want to vet. We really he doesn't even have River a closet. Dave. Will he doesn't have a, it's a one room cabin. It's true. He got bars now. Mm. What do they do with his chickens? That you want to know off Dave. with their heads spicy chicken I oh no him. there's a shortage you know he sold him to popeyes for his bail <laughs> river dave is a dope <laughs> nickname I, I agree river dave is that what they call you when you're floating the frio mm-hmm. yeah remember frisbee dan oh yeah san marcus is he still doing his thing out there i think he's still out there just that dude can throw a frisbee now yeah he's goaded dylan you go to container bar like twice a week right i've been twice in my life and i i didn't yeah, I'm not going to miss much if it's getting shut down. Is, is that what's happening? It's toast. Container Bar is oh, no. now being replaced by a 55-story downtown Austin condo tower. Oh, my God. That has been in the works for several years. Not that I like <sighs> Container Bar, but I just don't want another condo down there. No, I'm not going to lie. So when I got dropped off at Eisenhower's the other day, I was absolutely devastated by what Rainy looks like these days. It's condos. Clive Bar is just getting swallowed by an apartment complex. Dude, it is swallowed. You know, like Mike's... There was a time where Eisenhower's was like one of two or three bars on that street. Like it was just all homes and like they'd been like converted into bars. Man. Luster Pearl being, I think, maybe the first or second. Can we move? Dude, imagine it's too corporate, man. They're gonna they're gonna start Go selling condos and be like, Oh yeah, we're in the party, like Rainy Street Party District. It's like no you're not. There's like four bars left. Yeah. Sounds like they're paving paradise to put up a condo condominium tower. Except that one house that refuses to do anything but Sell, so, you know that you know what I'm talking about—the one with the private property sign. Is that CJ's office, Will? I know he—he's since moved. I bet he made some pretty good money. Got to think. There's yeah, there's the one house that's still like weirdly a realty office, and there's one house that needs to be knocked down. That still has like the 1975 pickup in the garage. You know what I'm talking about? No, I love. I don't that. go to Rainy anymore, dude. I'm too old. 
Why? Rainy's for everybody. I only go to Eisenhower's and Eisenhower's only. Weren't you at Umbar? Stop. Two locations in Austin. Nobody's doing that. Dude, what's this big cat news? A jaguar at a Florida zoo injured a man who climbed a barrier because he taunted the animal. Good. What a jerk. Don't taunt the animal and climb the barrier and expect not to get got. Dude, a a jag is like, don't, that's not something you taunt. The man climbed over a waist-high safety barrier that puts about four feet of empty space between visitors and the jaguar exhibits fence. The man began taunting the jaguar and reaching his hand through the fence. It was then that a 12-year-old big cat named Harry swiped at the man and injured him. Harry! Hope it took his hand. The feline was acting as part of its normal behavior for a wild animal and will not have any consequences. Uh, Obviously. We actually have Harry the jaguar in today's episode. Really? Yeah. Let's hear from Harry real quick. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> wow, thank you, Harry. Thanks for, thanks for hopping on the mic. Here's where it gets... Here's, here's, Harry's kind of a badass. Official confirmed that... Harry? <laughs> Official confirmed that Harry, the Jaguar, was involved in a fight earlier this year that left another Jaguar dead. Let's Damn. go. Harry's a savage. Yeah. I didn't know that. Damn. Zoo Harry's, officials, Harry's built different. Zoo dude. officials say they don't plan to pursue criminal charges against the man who was sent to the hospital and is expected to recover fully. So he just got a little love tap. Like, yeah, swipe- Harry just popped him with a jab. Like, dude, you don't want to do this. You don't want the smoke, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He gave him fair warning. He's like, I, you don't want to see what I'm capable of. No, like, player. Jags are cool. Muscular. It was in Jacksonville, by the way, if you had any. You know that's the largest city by land area in the United States. It sure is, Dylan. Lots Close, people, closely people followed by that. San Diego. Lots of people don't know that. Do you think this guy was, like, hopped over into the exhibit because he was just trying to get his ride pimped? Maybe. <laughs> He got a little confused. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, well, Harry. Oh, ah. Ow. Ew. My hand. That's all you, right. You I'll think leave. That's how he, re- he reacted to that. Just don't duct tape me to the fucking chair or whatever. That's what they do now. You just combined, like, all the segments. He's not a Lululemon did. designer. <laughs> They're my everything pants, Harry. Stop. <laughs> yeah, don't touch the pants. They're my everything pants. <laughs> what is wrong with yeah, you? No, no, no. Don't lacerate the pants. <laughs> Just recap the whole episode in 12 seconds. I don't know Dude, Jaguars lived that long, by the way. A 12-year-old Jag that's got a, a, a body on his ledger, <laughs> like, that's a, that Jag is not to be trifled with. Yeah, he's Terry. playing with fire right now. How old do big cats live to be? That's a great question. I have no clue. I'm going to guess, like, 17. You know, like, if they're in a lab, they'll live infinity. Yeah, I heard that. Like alligators. That's sick. Is that true? No. Uh, it's never been proven for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> How long do big cats live, Will? I Googled it. Nothing came Is up. it going to make me sad? I don't want to know. Jaguar life expectancy. Eight to ten years. So, yeah, oh. he is old and built different. I got 12 to 15. He's got that dad dick. Okay. You, can, you can clearly see Dylan says 12 to 15, right? I can clearly see it, yeah, on his screen. His computer screen. It's right here. Tiger 8 to 10. Cooter 8 to 13. Leopard 12 to 17. Sorry I hit you. No, dude. Why are you I'm, punching I'm a, I'm a business a, guy? He's about to go to Nashville. Dude, there's just something. Fine. Everyone's going to be like, what's that bruise on your He's arm? He's fine. I bruise easily. I have iron, de- iron deficiencies. Do you chew a lot of ice? What? That's a symptom. Pump more iron, dude. What? P- yeah. Is, Is that, that true? Ice? Yeah. People, uh, people that have an iron deficiency are more likely to chew ice. No, I fucking hate ice. I'd doing? rather have a Pepsi without ice. I'm not or kidding. What are you? I would, dude, Pepsi sucks. I'm done. I, just, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean Pepsi. I mean Coke. I'm a Diet Coke. Wild Cherry Pepsi hits. Pepsi yeah, is, that's so, di- Pepsi that's is so mid. Not Wild Cherry. Dylan's like an RC Cola guy. Wild Cherry Pepsi? Like the song. <laughs> no. RC is not bad. I, would, I, I couldn't tell you what RC tastes like. Cola. Royal Crown Cola. RC Slocum. I just drink Jolt. That's all I drink. I thought you drank Mountain Dew. Just Jolt. Dylan wants to punk anybody who's ever had a Mountain Dew Code Red. And Crystal Clear Pepsi. Will Crystal drinks Pepsi. Fago. Yeah, Michigan yeah, product. At his music festivals he goes to. <laughs> he sprays the crowd with it as he's in clown makeup on stage. <laughs> Dave actually said before the podcast he's a big squirt guy. Mm-hmm. Dude, he was about something different. No, I love squirt. Okay. <laughs> No, Squirt and Mellow Yellow were like my two road when we would do the summer road trip to Niagara Falls. When I when we got into like those states that had the Mellow Yellow, oh, it was over for my parents. Squirt doesn't get enough. I was just st- enough credit. Thank you. Like a little tequila and Squirt. Never had that. No one's doing tequila. That's a good squirt. little Saturday. Got the same thing as Netflix, Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay. No, Squirt, I, uh, we get it. The name is funny, but I think it is objectively good. It is. No, you're I right. I see it all over. The, right. the pallets, the, like the displays of Squirt in the grocery stores are, are huge. They're gigantic. <laughs> it, it, I messed up not having Squirt on my, my hypothetical soda fountain that I had in my home from my tweet a couple months ago. I we should have had Squirt on the list. We right. were doing Sue Squirts at CC's. What, like half half the lemon lime and half ruby red? It was half squirt, half everything, and then like a quarter of everything else. That is loco. I didn't know squirt had multiple flavors. Ruby red squirt's very, very good. I've never had that. Very good. Huh. That, would, that would scare me if I saw that. Dude, it's good. Mid-key goaded. I'm going to get Mid, a squirt. Hold on. Mid-key goaded. Mid-key Mid goaded. So it's, okay, I don't, let's diagram that sentence. Dylan doesn't know how to do that. Dylan sees a gerund in a sentence, and he's just punching air. He has no clue where to put that little fucker. <laughs> what? A gerund, dude. What's a gerund? It's a thing. Oh, come on. You went to gerund? They don't teach y'all? That's gerund. They don't teach you gerunds anymore? What are we doing? I don't know what a gerund is. It's a thing. I know it's a thing in, in the English class. It's a part of a sentence. It's like a... It's a form that is derived from a verb, but functions as a noun. Fuck that, dude. You shouldn't have to learn that. That's oh, stupid. like I'm in a summer in the Hamptons. So if you ask, do you mind yeah. my asking you? Oh, no. That's, that's a that's Asking a noun being is a, a gerund. Do you mind my asking? Who talks like this that? This you're asking of you. Dude, imagine not knowing that. I, I don't want to know. That's a dumb one. Dude, I, dude. you don't fuck with non-finite verbs, verb forms? Like, what are you doing? Back in the day, man, I was acing all my English tests. They were calling me Jaron Jones. Because I was owning it. You buy a squirt at HEB? <laughs> Hard to say. Central Market probably. Jaron Jones. Burners. Yeah. Jerry for short. People I got Jaron Jones Jerry money. Jones. I think it was time to wrap this up. You got any more breaking news? He's done, I just man. did three, dude. All right. I need to figure out lunch. Bye. <laughs>